Unit 9, Day 7, Areas of Circles and Sectors. The formula to find the area of a circle is A equals pi r squared. Now remember, area is how much space it takes to cover a certain shape. r stands for the radius. So be careful, this formula is very similar to circumference. Circumference is 2 pi r, but area is pi r squared. You don't have to memorize this because it is given to you on your SOL formula sheet. Now, to find the area of a sector, so this is the center of the circle, and just kind of imagine like cutting a piece of pizza. If we were cutting a piece of pizza and you wanted to know what is the area of that one piece of pizza, how do you find that? So just like last lesson, we're going to set up a proportion, and it's going to be part over whole equals part over whole. And the part we're talking about is the area of the sector over the whole the area of the entire circle, pi r squared, is equal to the part, the measure of the arc AB of that sector, over the measure of the entire circle, degrees wise, 360. So this is another proportion that is not given to you on your SOL formula sheet, so you want to remember this. The part of the area you want over the whole area of the circle is going to be proportional to the part of the arc measure over the whole arc measure 360. Here we just want to work out a couple examples. So we need to find the area of the shaded region. In both of these examples, the shaded region is the entire circle. So we're going to use our formula for area of a circle, A equals pi r squared. So here we want to find the whole area, and that's equal to pi times the radius, which is 8 squared. So this is going to give us 8 squared is 64 times pi. Now, remember we talked about this last time also, you can leave your answer in terms of pi, just don't forget to put units the feet squared. So this could be your answer for area, or if you multiply this out in your calculator, area is approximately 201.1 feet squared. Go ahead and pause, try the second one, and then check back with me to see if you got it right. So hopefully you plugged in one half for the radius, and then you should have gotten one fourth pi yard squared, or approximately 0 0.8 yards squared. Here, it asks us to determine the radius of the circle with the given area. So they tell us the area of the circle and we need to find the radius. So this is kind of the opposite of what we did on the page before. So we're going to start off with our formula for area, A equals pi r squared. The area is going to be 25 pi. So we substitute that in for A, and we actually need to solve for r. So in solving for r, first we need to get rid of this pi. So we want to divide both sides by pi, so that'll cancel out, and on this side we're just left with r squared. On the left side, the pi's cancel out, and we're left with 25. Then, to get this r isolated and get rid of that squared, we have to take the square root of both sides. When we do that, those will cancel out, and you're left with r. The square root of 25 is equal to 5 centimeters. So remember, when you're giving your measurement for just the radius, you should take the unit measure and it's just centimeters. Don't put that squared because the radius, remember, is just one segment. Go ahead and pause, try the second one, and check back with me and see if you got the right answer. Now, when you try to divide by pi, you should notice that the 48 doesn't have a pi with it. So the radius squared is actually equal to 48 divided by pi. I just decided to leave it like that so that I could put it all in the calculator in one step. So when you put in the square root of 48 divided by pi, you end up with the decimal 3.9. And so the radius is approximately 3.9 feet when the area of the circle is 48 feet squared. Here we want to find the area of the shaded region. And so what we want to do is we actually want to start off with our proportion. So I'm going to write it up here at the top so we have it to reference. 
we have the area of the sector that we want to find, and here it's going to be the shaded region, over the area of the whole circle, which is pi r squared, equal to the measure of the arc of that shaded region over the whole measure of the circle. So we want to start off with our proportion here. Now x, I'm just going to label it as x, that's what we're looking for, the area of that shaded region, over the area of the entire circle, which is going to be pi times the radius squared, equal to the measure of the arc of that sector, which is 60, and then over the measure of the entire circle, which is 360. And then we just want to cross multiply to solve. So when we cross multiply, you get 360 times x is equal to 60 times pi times 10 squared. So this is 360x equal to 10 squared is 100. 100 times 60 gives us 6,000 pi. Now, we want to divide both sides by 360. So this side cancels out, and we have x is equal to. Now this doesn't actually divide nicely. So if you simplify 6,000 divided by 360, you get 50 over 3 times pi inches squared. This would be the exact answer. Now if you put this in your calculator and you simplify, you get an approximate answer of 52.4 inches squared. Either answer is acceptable, either the exact answer or the approximated answer. So go ahead and pause and I want you to try the second one and then check back with me and see if you got the right answer. So when you set up your proportion and solve for x, hopefully you found that the exact answer is 1,445 over 36 times pi meters squared, or the approximate answer would be 126.1 meters squared. Now this next example can be solved two different ways. First, we're looking for the area of that shaded region. Now, the thing that we're missing is the measure of this arc right here. So in order to find the measure of this arc, we need to look at this notation here. What this tells us is that this central angle is congruent to this central angle, and it's also congruent to this central angle. So you have three congruent central angles that make up the entire circle. We know that the whole circle is 360, and if you divide that by 3, that gives you 120. So the measure of arc AB is 120 degrees. So you can set up your proportion just like we've been doing, x over pi times the radius squared is equal to 120 over 360. You can solve this proportion to find the area of that sector. The other way to think about this problem is if you take the entire circle and you realize that this is just dividing the circle into three even pieces, then you can take the area of the whole circle and just divide that by three. So the area of the whole circle is found by pi r squared, and we want to divide that by 3, and that'll give us the area of that sector. So we just substitute in the radius is going to be 24. We want to square that and then divide that by 3, and that'll give us our sector. So you should find either an exact answer of 192 pi feet squared or an approximation, if you put that in your calculator, of 603.2 feet squared. Now remember, either answer is acceptable, the exact or the approximated answer. Here, we need to find the area of the shaded region. Now when you look carefully in each problem, you can see that there are two different shapes. So we need to talk about how you can find the measure of the shaded region given the area of the two different shapes that you're working with. So here we have two circles. Here we have a circle and a square, and here we have a circle and a square again. So we're going to talk about each one of these carefully, but I need you to kind of understand big picture how you want to find the area of that shaded region. So in this very first one, when you see this, the shaded region is kind of like a donut. 
you have the outside of the circle, you have the inside cut out, and it's just that kind of donut. So think about it big picture. If we want to find the area of the shaded region, we don't know how to find the area of a donut shape, but we do know how to find the area of the big circle. And then if we subtract the area of the small circle, that should leave us with this donut. So area of the big circle, formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared. Formula for area of a circle, again, pi r squared. So we just need to make sure that we're substituting our information correctly. In the big circle, the radius, it goes from center all the way out to the edge, is 4. And then in the small circle, the radius from center to edge is 2. So we substitute that in, and then we get 16 pi minus 4 pi. Now, when you put this in your calculator, 16 pi minus 4 pi, you'll get an answer of 13.7, and then inches squared. So that is actually the area of the donut. When we talk about this one, again, think big picture. We have the whole area of the square, and then if you cut out this circle, then you're left with those four shaded pieces. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take the area of the square and subtract the area of the circle. Now the formula for area of a square is side squared, and then formula for the area of the circle is pi r squared. So let's substitute in the values. The side of the square is 10. And then we need to find the radius of the circle. Now look carefully. If the side of the square is 10, that means that this diameter all the way across the circle is going to be 10 as well. It's not quite in the middle. Um, there we go. So that diameter is also going to be 10 centimeters. Now, if that's the diameter, the radius is going to be half of that, so that's going to be 5 centimeters. So we substitute in 5 for the radius. 5 squared, and then 100 squared, I mean 10 squared is 100, minus 5 squared is 25 times pi, and then when you put this in your calculator, you should get 21.5 centimeters squared. And this is the area of those corner pieces that are left when you cut out that circle in the middle. Now this last one is the opposite of the one that we just did. This has a circle around the outside, and then we're cutting out that square inside. So we want to take the area of the circle and subtract the area of the square. The area of the circle is pi r squared, and then the area of the square is side squared. When we substitute in, you know that the diameter of the circle is 16, so that means the radius is going to be 8. So we get pi times 8 squared minus, and we need to find the length of that side. The side of the square, we don't know that, but you do know that the sides of a square are congruent and that they have 90 degree angles. So what we've actually created here is a 45-45-90 triangle. And in 45-45-90 triangles, the relationship from the hypotenuse to the side length is going to be the hypotenuse divided by the square root of 2. You could also use SOHCAHTOA with this being 45 degrees to find the length of one of the sides also. So when we talked about this before, we had to rationalize the denominator because square root of 2 couldn't be in the bottom. But we're just going to use that number and eventually calculate this into a decimal anyway. So you can just leave 16 over the square root of 2. So now let's simplify. 8 squared is 64 pi minus, when you square a fraction, you square the top, so 16 squared is 256 divided by square root of 2 is 2, and then we get 64 pi is e minus 128, and then when you put that in your calculator, you get 73.1 feet squared, and that is your final answer. That's it for today. I'll see you in class.